So in this part, we are going to learn about media queries. So why do we need media queries? Sometimes in web pages, we want to display some content differently for mobile user and some content differently for desktop users. So that's why we need media query. Okay, so let's go into the style and then I'm going to take our body and give it a background color of red. So by default, back body has a background color of red. But now I want that for screen sizes which are less than 500 pixel, I want my body color to blue or like say green. So how can I do that? For that, I will write at media and then start the parenthesis and inside that I will write max dash width and then specify a height, specify a width. So which is 500 pixel and I'm going to say at 500 pixel, I want this body color to like say blue. Okay, so currently it's in blue because our window size is less than 500 of course. So if we will scale it more, by the way, you can see the size here. Mm. So it's now greater than 500. So for anything which is greater than 500, it's going to display the default behavior and anything which is 500 or less than 500, it is going to uh, show the blue color. Okay, so now let's take a more practical example. So I will delete everything here and then I will go and take a container. Okay, we have a container. And inside this container, we are going to uh, have a card. We are going to have three cards. Okay. So now I will go in style and then I will say dot card and give it a background color of red and border of two pixel solid. Okay. And now we will say height to 300 pixel and width to 250 pixel okay so now i'm going to take the parent which is this container here and i'm going to give it some style and i'm going to say display grid and we are going to make a grid of three so grid templates column of three column repeat three and comma one fr okay we can also do justify items to center okay so we have three cards here and by default they are horizontally aligned one after one after one so for desktop devices this is okay but on mobile devices i want this card to go down and the third one to go down i want to basically stack them so how can i do that again we will start at media okay and then I'm going to write max width again this time 500 pixel and at 500 pixel I'm going to take this container here so this container and I will take this column and I will say we want one column so and now we can also give this a margin top of like say 30 pixel okay so now for mobile devices it's a stack and for desktop devices it's in the horizontal and for mobile it's in the vertical view so this is actually the more real life use of uh, media queries uh, by the way you can use it for more purposes like say you can use it for making a uh, nav bar so i will show you a demo of my portfolio so if i will visit okay so now you can see this is a navbar okay for desktop devices everything is visible okay so once we hit mobile device let's see what is going to happen here so once we hit a specific weight which is here then everything is collapsed inside a na hamburger so for mobile devices we are going to use this hamburger and we have this side sidebar instead of that nav bar and for desktop devices we have the nav bar so i hope you guys understood what media query is but let's see i'm going to show you one more thing so now i'm going to remove everything uh, just leave this one here so i'm going to say okay again body 
I'm going to say background color to red again and at 500 pixel I'm going to say body background color to green okay so currently it's max speed it means that anything which is less than this 500 pixel is going to take this style which is written inside this uh, brushes so if we we also have a uh, mean weed okay if i say mean here so it just mean the opposite anything which is greater than 500 pixel will have green so now currently it is red because our window size is 465 now so once we hit more than 500 it's going to turn into green so you have mean width and you have max width property for your media queries so that's all for this video i hope you guys understood what is media query you have seen the real time use of media query in our in my portfolio here you can see and and this is actually the last video of our course and from next video we are going to work on our beautiful project so let's take a look again so this is the project we are going to work on from next video so this uh, in this project you are going to learn a lot of concept and we have uh, even used media queries here so this section you are seeing so for desktop you can see this is side by side and for mobile devices it's a stack so we are using again the media query for breaking things like that so see you in the next one thank you so much for watching